Hey everybody, Eric from Brian Mid Sports Cards here, coming at you with another video. Uh, first off, I'd like to say I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and I hope you're enjoying the Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, today we're going to do another PSA reveal. I know I've been doing a bunch of these lately, still have a couple more to go. Uh, this one is going to be a 50 card reveal. Uh, I'm going to try and make it not too, too long. This is uh, about a third... Uh, football and two-thirds basketball. I uh, wasn't expecting anything too out of control on this one. This was all some lower-end stuff that came out of collections that I picked up um, and or some stuff that I picked up at uh, a few of the little card shows that I've worked uh, over the past six months or so, put it back in July, and it just came back earlier this week. So here we go. Let's get after it. Gonna go through all the basketball first. And we're gonna start you off with getting the camera adjusted. There we go. Alright. Gonna start it off with two of the same card with the same grade. These are both 1973 tops. Jerry Lucas. Both got PSA 6. This one's definitely better centered, a little bit high, but better left to right. This one's definitely off left to right, a little better top to bottom. Both of these came out of a collection. Like I said, most of this stuff I wasn't expecting super high grades on. Uh, there was a few that I was hoping for 10s on, like these next two. The next two are 1990 Skybox, Scotty Pippen. I pulled these from packs myself um, and was hoping for 10s on these ones. Uh, didn't get them. Tens aren't worth a whole lot. Nines certainly aren't worth a whole lot. So that one was a little bit of a disappointment. There are a couple of good ones in here. Uh, some grades that uh, that I was very happy with. A couple that were very surprising. So most of this is going to be vintage. 75 tops here. Sven Nader. I remember watching him play as a kid. This one got a five. It's a little beat up. But really nice registration on it. We'll take a five. Next, we got 73 tops. Dave DeBusher. It's the NBA All Stars. All Star card. This one got a six. Keep rolling on through here. Next, we've got 1972 tops. Austin Carr, rookie. This one got a seven. I was very happy with the seven on this one. I didn't think it was going to do quite that well. But we'll take a seven. Anything vintage in middle to high grades, we'll take it anytime. This one was a little bit of a head scratcher until I looked at it a little more closely. And uh, this would be what, like five out of six submissions, four out of five submissions that a card that was really nice got a ridiculous grade. Now, this card is not a five. Or shall I say, it wasn't a five. This card was really nice. Um, and I don't know if I can get it on there or not. I can't quite see it. Yeah, there you can, right there. That dent and line across the card right there was not there when I sent it in. Uh, this is another one that PSA messed up. It's another one that I'm not going to go after them for. It probably wasn't going to get a 10 anyway. Uh, if it got a 9, it was, you know, whatever. Now it gets a 5, and I'll be lucky to get 10 or 15 bucks out of it, but whatever. Um, just another one. All these new people at PSA uh, not doing the best job, and uh, as I've stated before, they damage a card. In the old days, they used to say, hey, we damaged a card. We slabbed it anyway. We'll give you some free gradings. We'll give you some money back. We'll do something or another. Now they just ignore it like it never happened. Kind of aggravating, but what are you going to do? Next was uh, one of two Gem Mint 10s that I got on this uh, submission. The other one I was really excited about. We'll get to that one in a little bit. 90 Flair, Scotty Pippen, Gem Mint 10. Pulled this one from a pack myself. Been sitting on it for quite some time. Not worth a ton, but hey, Gem 10 is a Gem 10. Was happy with this next one. 92 Classic 4 Sport, Shaq Rookie, PSA 9, 
of course, was hoping for a 10. But the 9 in this card's not bad either. It's a fairly low pop card. Didn't have one in the collection. That one may end up staying. Next, we got 91 Upper Deck, Michael Jordan. PSA 8. I would not have put this card in unless I thought it had a chance at a 10. Um, and I really thought it did. But obviously there's something I missed on that for it to be dinged two grades down. This is another one I was really excited about. A little bit of a rare card here. 94 Classic. Shaq. The gold card. Centers of attention. You can see the gold down here. PSA 9. Was happy with that. Good stuff. Next, we got a couple from the same set here, both Michael Jordans. This one is the All-Star Game. This one is the uh, League Leaders card. Uh, these I pulled from packs myself. Certainly thought they were better than seven and eight. Once again, or I would have never put them in. Um, it's got to be some issues on there. I know they're really difficult to, to get good grades on these 91 Fleer cards. Uh, to date, I think I've only ever gotten 110 on any 91 Fleer I've ever put in. Uh, so we'll move on. 93 tops. Reigning scoring leader, Michael Jordan, PSA 9. Okay with this one. Uh, of course, hoping for a 10. Didn't quite get there. But a 9 is still good in this card. Sticking with Jordan. 92 Ultra, PSA 8. Well, this is a tough card. Looks better than an 8 to me. No chipping on the back here where it's darker colored. Um, and it's really nice. Um, it's got a little tiny bit of a soft corner up here on the top, but I think it's better than an 8. But PSA didn't. Got a couple more of the same card here. These are also ones I pulled out of packs. 91 Fleer Jordan, the base card, PSA 8, PSA 9. Still haven't gotten a 10 on this card of any of the Jordans that I put in. Kind of bummed on that one. But what are you going to do? An 8 and a 9. Next, we got 77 Tops, Earl the Pearl Monroe. This one came out of a collection that I picked up about a year or so ago. PSA 6. I thought it was a little nicer than that, but a 6 isn't bad. Look at how green the back is. <laughs> really nice. It's got a little bit of a soft corner down here, and the centering isn't perfect, but I thought it was at least a 7, maybe an 8. 6 is all we got. Next, we got 72 tops. John Havlicek. This one got a four. And I'm not really all that disappointed with that. This one's got rough corners. Really rough corner up here on the top. A little bit rough down here. A little rough up here. Um, and the centering's pretty bad. But it's got really nice registration. That's why I put it in. We'll take a four. Next, we got one of my favorite players of all time, 79 Tops, Wes Unsold. Just as a side note, if you're a collector and you collect basketball cards, take a look at some of your vintage basketball cards, say from like 1970 through 1981 or 82, and just take a look at how many cards Wes Unsold is in the background defending somebody. It's great. He's in so many cards. This guy was one of my favorite players when I was growing up. He was a heck of a player. Great rebounder. And a banger. PSA 7 on this 79. Next, we got 1980 Tops. David Thompson, Brian Taylor, and Kareem. I picked this one up off of an online auction, if I remember correctly. Thought it was a little nicer than a 7. The centering is definitely off left to right. I think it's probably a little bit high as well. 
I haven't ever graded too many of these 80 cards, so wasn't exactly sure what to expect, but I did think it was a little bit better than a 7. But, a 7. Next, we got 72 tops. Jerry Lucas. Great colors on this card, great registration. Centering is definitely uh, poor, to say the least. Uh, it's way off left to right, and it's really low. But it's still got a five. Um, I'm, I'm okay with a five on this card. Centering's even worse on the back than it is on the front. Pretty sure this card is uh, notorious for being off center pretty much all the way around. But uh, just great registration on this card. Bright colors. Only one fisheye little print mark down here. Nice card. Next, we have 78 tops. Ray Williams rookie card, PSA 7. It's definitely low. It's nice left to right. Good registration on this card. I thought it was a little better than a 7, but a 7 is okay. Anybody you can get a rookie in in the, those upper middle grades to high grades is good stuff. Next, we got 75 tops. Dave Twardzik. I remember watching this guy when I was growing up as well. He's a great shooter, this guy. PSA 6 on this one. Great centering on this. Really good registration. Nice bright colors on there. PSA 6. We're all right with that. Next, we got 1974 tops. Back to Earl of Pearl Monroe. PSA 7. It's a good grade for that card. 74 was a tough year to get centered. This one's got really nice registration, nice bright colors. That green is nice and bright. And I'm definitely okay with a 7 on this one. It might have even done a little bit better than I was expecting. So we're all right with that one. Next, we're going to go 81 tops, Alex English. PSA 8. Now this one was a little bit of a head scratcher. I know the centering is off on this one. It's off definitely all the way around. A little off left to right. A little off top to bottom. Uh, but this thing has razor sharp corners. Um, not quite sure. I was hoping for a 9 on this one. Not that it makes it worth all that much more. But I was hoping for a 9 on this one. Or at least maybe an 8.5. But we got an 8. Next, I had never put in one of these ones before, and I thought, why not? 93 Classic 4 Sport, Penny Hardaway, rookie card, and PSA 8. Was definitely hoping for a 10 on this. Thought it really had a shot at a 10. At the very least, I was thinking a 9, but it got an 8. It's got to be something, a little surface issue or something that I didn't catch on there. Still a nice card, PSA 8. Next, we got 1975 Tops, Len Elmore. Another one that's uh, got great registration. Centering is really good for 75. But PSA 4. Thought the corners were a little nicer than that. I know it kind of looks like that uh, there's a crease here and a crease here and like that, but that's actually in a picture even over here. That's, a, that's in the picture in the background. Um... This card is nicer than a 4, if you ask me. Um, the corners are definitely have some issues. You can see this bottom corner down here has got a little bend in it and stuff. But, I mean, I, as nice as this is, it ought to be at least a 5 and maybe a 6. But, that's alright. Take what we get. Next, we got a little bit, uh, one of the tall boys here. 69. Tops, Hal Greer. Uh, this card is in uh, one of my videos from, say, oh, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. Uh, I traded for this card, and it was raw, and thought, you know what, I might as well put it in. Those 69s are really difficult, and this one's fairly well-centered left to right. It's got nice color. It just has some rough corners, and that's why it gets PSA 4. Still a cool card. And the last one of the basketball, this was the biggest surprise of the submission right here. 1981 tops, Bobby Jones, Jim Mint 10. 
Unbelievable. Um, now, the pop isn't really, really low on this one. I think there's something like 29 tens or something like that. Now, uh, 81 was fairly difficult to get tens in, but some of the cards there are a higher pop uh, than others. Seems like it was a little bit easier to get a 10 on some of these cards than others. But like I said, this was absolutely the shock of the submission right here. Bobby Jones, Gem Mint 10. Played alongside Dr. J. Used to love watching him play too. Guy was a heck of a rebounder and a pretty good shooter too for being a big guy. Gem Mint 10. Good stuff. 81 tops. So that does it for the basketball. We're going to roll into football here. I'm going to start it off with 1969. Tops, Frank Ryan. PSA 5. Great color on this card. Centering isn't perfect. Great color. It's definitely got some chipping across the back here. It definitely has five corners. At least two or three of the corners are five corners. So, hey, 69 tops. Good vintage football. PSA 5. No problem. Next, we got 1970 tops. Grant Hill's dad, Calvin Hill. Uh, I have the other version of this card came back not too long ago where his name is in black. This one is the one where his name is in red. I believe the name in black is the rarer version of this card. PSA 5, uh, if I remember correctly, the, the other one got a 7, if I remember correctly. Oh, second year card for him. Good stuff, PSA 5. Next, we got 1976 Tops, Ed Tutal Jones, PSA 6. Thought this one was a little bit nicer than a 6. I was hoping for a 7, maybe an 8, but we got a 6. And why not? It'll be all right. Next, we got 82 Tops, Sweetness, Walter Payton. PSA 8. I bought this card at the uh, little card show that I work monthly here in Phoenix, and I think I paid like two bucks or three bucks for it. I thought it was a really nice one. I was hoping for a nine, but we got an eight. Next, we got 1971 Tops, the game cards. Bullet Bob Hayes. PSA 6. I'd never graded any of these before um, in football. I've graded some of the baseball ones, but never the football ones. Um, it's just hard to know. When you've never graded them before, I thought the centering looked like it was pretty good. Um, it's not real beat up or anything like that. So, hey, PSA 6 for the first time around, I'm all right with that. Next, we got 91 Classic 4 Sport. Brett Favre rookie, PSA 9. I was hoping for a 10 on this one. Um, I know it looks like the centering is off top to bottom, but I've looked at a ton of them that are already graded, um, and the centering top to bottom is exactly the same, so I think that's just the way they came. So that's not why. But I think the biggest reason why is, is that it's off left to right here. You can see it's definitely fatter on the left than it is on the right. Brett Favre, rookie in a nine. No problem. Next, we got 79 tops. Roger Staubach. PSA 5. Was hoping for a little more on this one, but we'll take a five. Next, we got 82 tops. In action, Joe Montana. PSA 7. Another one I was hoping for a little bit higher grade than that, maybe an eight, but got a seven. Next, we got 1968 tops Paul Warfield PSA six. This is another card that's, that's always tough. Uh, centering is always pretty poor on this particular card out of this set, and this one is no exception. Nice and green on the back. Centering, I think, is even worse on the back than it is on the front. Yeah, maybe it's about the same. But PSA 6. As I said before, I wasn't expecting anything too out of control out of any of this stuff I was putting in. 
Uh, the two tens that I got, I were definitely very happy with those, and happy with this one as well, because this is kind of a kind of a low pop card here, 95 Pro Line, Joe Montana. This is the Silver National. Let me see if we get it a little closer here. This is the 16th National Sports Collectors Convention. And this is what one of 575 of this card made. When I saw it, I thought, geez, the foil looks nice. Doesn't look like it's too chipped up. Not in too bad of shape. I'm going to put it in. Was hoping for a 10, but we'll take a 9. This is a low pop card, so I'm more than happy with a 9 on this one. Next, we got 86 top Steve Young. This is another one that came uh, in a collection that I picked up. PSA 7. I was hoping for a little better than that, at least an 8. But 7's all we got. Next, we got 1974 Wonder Bread. Larry Zonka. Got a 4. I had a bunch of these uh, Wonder Bread cards. I still have a bunch of them. This was one of the nicest ones. Uh, the rest of them are even more beat up than this. So I was just putting it in because I'd never graded one. Just wanted to see what it would do. PSA 4 is pretty weak. But you get what you get. Next we got 1970 Larry Zonka. Also PSA 4. Now this one definitely has some rough corners. Uh, this corner up here is pretty rough. Down here is pretty rough. It's got a little bit of a uh, deckly kind of cut to it. It wasn't cut perfectly. A little dog ear on, on the back here. But PSA 4, Hall of Famer. We'll take it anyway. Next we got 1967 tops. Earl Faison. PSA 5. Just love the colors on this card. The green is so bright. The blue, really, really bright as well. Another great Dolphins player. Defensive end. Earl Faison. Next we got 73 tops. Bullet Bob Hayes. Thought this card was really nice. It's really well centered. Uh, it does have some corner issues, obviously. Or it'd be better than a PSA 6. I think it is better than a PSA 6. Uh, I think it should be more like a 7. But 6 is all we got. Still a great card. Next we got 1968. Jim Hart. PSA 6. Another one with great registration. Really nice color. Centering is pretty rough. But we'll take a 6 on this one. Getting down to the last couple here, folks. Next, we got 1972, Fred Bolitnikoff, PSA 8. This one was another one of the shockers out of this one. Uh, I didn't think anything. I was hoping for some higher grades in some of this stuff, but most of this vintage stuff, I was thinking, yeah, it's going to get 5s and 6s, maybe a few 7s. Uh, this one got an 8. Very excited about an 8 on this one. This is a good card. No doubt about it. Next, we've got 71 top game card again. Joe Namath this time. And this one got a three. Um, there's definitely issues. It's got a chip over here. And it's got a big old creasy right over here up in the top right-hand corner. But Hall of Famer and kind of a rare card. Not a whole lot of these are graded. So I figured why not. Might as well throw it in, get it slabbed. Joe Namath. Last card, folks, and then we'll call it a video. 1983, Tops Mike Singletary, PSA 5. Now, this card is way nicer than a 5. You can see there's no, there's a little piece of dust on there or something. Corners are nice. Just not quite sure what the issue is on this one. I've looked at it pretty close. There is a little corner issue up here um, with just a slight bend, but not enough to ding it like three grades or more. Um, I really thought this one was going to do at least a seven and was hoping for an eight maybe uh, if I was lucky, even with that little crease in the corner. So, But PSA 5 is all we get. So that does it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy all the reveals. I've got a couple more reveals coming up and a couple of special videos coming up as well. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I hope you enjoy the videos. Keep collecting, folks.
Keep collecting what you love.